I'd like to invite Tom Bradditch, the CTO for IBM System X. And if you could join me now, we'll talk about the future as well. Tom? Hello, Pat. Hi, Tom. You know, as we were talking, I, you know, we've been working together forever, man. You're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. I mean, I haven't, but, you know, since the 286, we've worked together. I think maybe, you know, as two executives, we worked together maybe longer than anyone in the industry. Yeah, the 286 and the 386 yeah. days, we did simulation. We actually did offloading and accelerated simulation of the brand new 386 processor that you were leading. Yeah, that's great. So you know, maybe you could talk to the uh, audience a little bit about some of the work that we're doing together. In well, sure. Of I.O. You know, about five years ago, IBM and Intel got together with several industry leaders and developed what is the PCI Express interconnect technology. And that has proven to be very successful. It's a low cost, uh, reliable, high speed interconnect that uh, has achieved ubiquity across server and client platforms. And the momentum continues. Uh, we've worked together on PCI Express 2.0, which will be around shortly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. So this is an area IBM has lots of experience in. And what trends in Interconnect are you seeing? Well, you know, there's two dynamics at play that we're seeing here. One is out in the industry, we're seeing new computing models putting higher demands on the platform and on the system. And at the same time, in IBM, it is the season for us to take our next step in our X architecture roadmap, and that is building proven mainframe and high-end enterprise capabilities into open and industry standards. And over on the, the new model side, we're seeing an increased application of mathematically intensive computations in the financial industry, as well as the biophysical and the uh, geophysical industries as well. Also, we're seeing intense visualization, not only in just GUIs or user interfaces, but also in applications, as well as, in, of course, the gaming you know, industry. And then uh, content acceleration as well in processing such as XML. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I was in kindergarten when IBM pioneered the I.O. channel. And back then, IBM applied attached processors, applied accelerators, as well as offload engines to that I.O. channel. And we are very, very excited to step up to leading and bringing to bear that experience and that technology to the new open standard that we are calling between Intel and IBM internally, we we're calling it Geneseo. Okay, so Geneseo, a set of, uh, of hardware and software enhancements, and maybe you could describe a little bit to the audience exactly what we're bringing forward and proposing with the industry. Sure, it is rather, it's intellectually intriguing as well as will be of great value to our customers. And I can portion the features into roughly four categories. Uh, first, we are going to address the efficiencies in synchronization and signaling by providing atomic operations that will indeed increase performance and communication among the elements of the application, the memory, as well as this new I.O. interconnect. So that's going to significantly improve uh, memory throughput for these application accelerators. Very important. If you can't get to the data, you can't process it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's extremely important. The second dimension we will add is transaction ordering. The data and its associated transactions can be ordered and prioritized. Mm -hmm. And that will increase dramatically the efficiency of the bandwidth allocated to those particular tasks and threads. Uh -huh. So huge improvements in terms of the ability to optimize data flow through the interface as well. Yes, absolutely. Now, IBM being a systems company, we're very interested in the systems aspect. So as you mentioned several times, and as Susan mentioned earlier, we are going to work to build thermal and power management capabilities and control into this interconnect, such that the accelerators and the attached elements may be controlled thermally as well as electrically, and power can be portioned and allocated on a dynamic basis and action taken to keep things cool. Mm -hmm. So this is huge, and power efficiency improvements are incredibly important for yes. both of us. Yes, indeed. And of course, a systems approach wouldn't be complete without looking at the software stack. Mm -hmm. So we must look at that, look at the issues where there are bottlenecks, overhead, and reduce the latency significantly within, within the software stack. So we're extremely happy to uh, dip into our rich portfolio of technologies and work on the standard with Intel as well as others in the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if we don't address the software stack, in many cases that is the bottleneck. Yeah, absolutely. As well. Right, so this enhancement we think is pivotal to embracing the next generation of application acceleration. It's exciting work that's going on. As you see by the companies listed here, we've had extremely positive uh, response, and we really look forward to working this with you, Tom. We do too. We can't wait to keep going and get it done. Well, thank you, Tom, and we're going to be taking this forward to the PCI SIG.
right, as well as to DMTF. Yes. We're going to see it standardized across the industry. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom. Okay, Great thank to have you, you here Pat. with us. Bye-bye.